Hi everybody. Being a homebrew video game publisher slash video game programmer slash do everything. It's not always the glamorous life. Oh, it's great. I mean, the wine, the women, everything. It's great. But it's not always glamorous. Sometimes it's not that fun. Sometimes things happen that you just don't want to happen. I need to show you that. What I want to show you is some of the work I've been doing. Boxes of game boxes, whole boxes of them. What I have to do with them is I have to take the raw sheets that come in and run them through a scorer, then cut them, then fold them, then glue them, and all that. Like this is a raw sheet that's been scored and cutted, or scored and cut. Then I would have to trim and fold to make everything work. So that's 75 of them right there. I did 25 yesterday. Then when the manuals come in, I've had part of the manual in already. I have the front cover, which you see that's the front cover and inside cover. I have to dig the manuals. I have to slice them in half of my guillotine, put, assemble them, which is three sheets go to make make a 12 or uh, 12 page manual. Staple them with a big stapler. Then you have a nice, pretty, full color manual. And then you have the wall posters, which came out to be the wrong size, but that's okay now. Which I have to run through my scores, fold them up, get them ready to go into the box. Again, they came out to the wrong size, so. Then you have the labels, which are not wide enough. They didn't come out to the right size. And then you take the labels, put them on the cartridge. That's after you put the cartridge together. You got to take the PCBs. You got to solder them together. You got to burn the EEPROM, solder it all together, put it all together, test it, make sure it works, label it, assemble it, all that. So that's the glamorous life. You may not have noticed something in here and people are going to chuckle and they're going to laugh and I could have just said hell with it. Notice anything? No? I'll point at it. Yeah. Arcadian is spelled correctly here with an O. Misspelled here. On the poster. Again, the poster that's not getting used. Misspelt on the cover. Spelt correctly inside the cover, but misspelt on the cover. And misspelt on the box. What does that mean? Well, it meant I could have just spent $40 and had all the labels reprinted with the misspelling and decided to just change the name of the game. But then we know how people are. They'd be saying stuff like that forever. So, you know what I ended up having to do is... I have a little piece of carbon down. Reordered everything. Including these because I wanted them wider. The posters. I didn't want them that big in the first place because this is almost an impossible thing to get a frame for. So I needed a different size poster. Reordered the front sheet so that the manual has the right name. Reordered all the boxes. So it has the right name. $462. Puts me behind about a week. But in the long run, it's good business. Just like I said in another video. Don't do bad business. Do good business. Dedication. I guess that means homebrew. I don't know. That means I like what I do. That means I care about the people that purchase from me. I don't know. Oh, and while I'm at it, just on this road, I dropped one. My cartridge exchange is going very well. I've had 15 come back. Well, this is 10 of them here, but I've had 15 come back. Where... I sent out replacements with the fixed version because sometimes turmoil 
didn't like the Phoenix. Again, dedication. I don't care what people say. I don't care what anybody out there in the world says. I'm dedicated to what I do. This ain't fly by night for me. I'm starting a legacy for my child. It may be 40 years too late, but I'm doing it. I'm just pulling little pieces of plastic here, paper. Anyways, it's a great Sunday morning for me. I'm going to create a few cartridges for people that have ordered some CCR and some turmoil. Have a great day.